In this video, we're going to look at 8-bit versus 10-bit using VLOG on the Panasonic EVA1. Here's the story. When you hear 8-bit versus 10-bit, you wouldn't think there's much of a difference. But the difference is that 8-bit has 16.7 million colors to work with, and 10-bit has 1.07 billion colors to work with. So there's a bit of a difference there. But how big of a practical difference does it make? Here we have our trusty color checker, and we're shooting with the Panasonic EVA 1 in Ultra HD 8-bit VLOG, ISO 800, 180 degree shutter angle, and daylight white balance. And now we have the 8-bit VLOG with the Rec. 709 LUT. And now we have the Rec. 709 LUT with some adjustments. And there's the waveform so you can see where some of the banding comes in when you're working with 8-bit. Now we've got the 10-bit VLOG footage. And all the settings are the same from the previous shot. Now we've got the Rec. 709 LUT. And now we've added some adjustments. Mainly saturation just to see if we can break the image a bit. And there's the waveform up in the top right hand corner. So side by side, there isn't much of a difference, but if you look at the bottom of the color checker in the 8-bit, you can see a lot of artifacting there. There's a little bit with the 10-bit because we were trying to break the image as much as possible, but clearly the 10-bit is the better image. And now we've got the Panasonic S1 as our model and we're shooting in 8-bit VLOG, same settings as before. And now we've added the Rec. 709 LUT. And now we've added some adjustments to the 8-bit VLOG with the Rec. 709 LUT. And there's the waveform in the top right hand corner and you can see that it shows a bit of banding as well. And we're shooting 10-bit VLOG here. Now we've got the Rec. 709 LUT. And now we've added adjustments. And there's the waveform in the top right hand corner. And here's side by side. And try to figure out which one you think is which, 8-bit or 10-bit. Might be a little bit hard to figure it out watching on YouTube. And there's the results. We have the 8-bit on the left and the 10-bit on the right. But really, did you see much of a difference when you were trying to figure out which one's which? Here's a 400% scale on the 8-bit footage showing on the table where you can see some artifacts. And here's the 10-bit footage at 400% scale. And the results are a bit more pleasing. And one of the benefits of shooting 10-bit over 8-bit a lot of the time is getting better gradients. So you can get these on the walls or outside in the sky. So we've done a test here and you can see what the footage looks like in VLOG and then with the Rec. 709 LUT added and then with some adjustments. And there's the waveform showing that there is some banding. And now in 10-bit, this is shot with VLOG and then with Rec. 709 LUT applied and then with adjustments. And there's the waveform as well. So did you see a difference? The main benefit of shooting 8-bit is you save on file sizes. On a 128 gigabyte card, you can film up to 170 minutes on the EVA 1, but when you shoot in 10-bit, you only get 113 minutes. So obviously, when you're working with 10-bit, you're going to have larger file sizes but you do get more colors to work with and ultimately your images will be better. But depending on where your images are being distributed, you might not see much of a difference. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you saw any difference and what you would shoot with in your next project, 8-bit or 10-bit. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more video content like this in the future.